never going to get the Sentinel. I might as well let the cars run me over. Whoa, what is that? Ronnie Piper, Hall of Fame, the first weekly purchase? I do like that. How about you give me a hug? Oh, thanks, Emma. Welcome, everyone. Kyle here, and it's Saturday. And you know what that means. It's time for weekly purchases, the time of the week where we investigate what came through the door via UPS, United States Postal Service, Amazon, Horse and Buggy, that old outlaw, Waylon Jennings, and what I found on the road this week. It's called Weekly Purchases. And we also, at the top of the show, take a look at all the toy news of the week that interested me, probably interests you. And we wrap it all together into Weekly Purchases. And this is the special one. It's the 10,000 subscriber edition of Weekly Purchases. As you guys know, we've been pushing for that 10,000 subscribers for the last month or so. And last week, it finally hit. I believe it was last Saturday night. So a week from today, we hit 10,000 subscribers. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys that have subscribed, followed along, left comments, followed me on social media, of course, at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, D underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Uh, on Instagram. So thank you for everybody that follows along. Thanks to everybody that partakes in the weekly weekly purchases and all the other videos on the channel. And as part of this celebration of 10,000, we've got not one, not two, but three giveaways today that you'll have to follow the rules for, but the rules are pretty easy. But we'll uh, give them away throughout this episode. So stay tuned, watch the whole thing, of course, uh, and you too can be a winner. So stay tuned. But first, like we do always on the channel, we recap the week that was, and what a week for me. I am extremely exhausted this week. Uh, as you guys saw my figure hunt, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Traveling for work, so some long work days, some long nights of store hunting, some very early morning store hunting, uh, but boy, the fruits of the labor, they were worth it. You're going to see some slam dunk, amazing pickups this week. Uh, some stuff you saw on the figure hunt and some stuff you did not, so stay tuned for the back half of the show. But this week, we finally did, as part of the 10,000 subscribers, as promised, the Ultimate Warrior Top 10. My 10 favorite Ultimate Warrior figures of all time. And I didn't know, I, I was dreading doing that video in some instances because it's so hard for me to put those in order. It was just hard. And a lot of people said, oh, you probably had it done months ago. No, I did it, I think, Monday before I left town. I said, I just don't know what to do. And I finally did it. I came out with it. You asked me a couple years from now when we get more Ultimate Warriors, like that upcoming Ultimate Edition, that list could change. But as of right now, that is my top 10 list. Make sure you put your top 10 list in that Warrior video and give it a look because it's more than a top 10 list. That one, I didn't understand going into it how much the Warrior has ebbed and flowed through my entire life from when I was a kid and the excitement of getting some of the early figures out there and then into the later years how it gets me back into hardcore collecting and some of the excitement for the new figures now really is more than an Ultimate Warrior Top 10 it's almost my Ultimate Warrior my action figure journey in life video a little bit so I think some of you guys might like that one out there a little sappy in spots of course it is because the Warrior meant so much to me. It still means so much to me. So check out the Ultimate Warrior Top 10 video, a very fun video uh, on the channel. And then what else did we do this week? It were a busy week on the channel. I'm going to ask for your guys' help a little later. I have so much stuff. We have months of unboxings to do, and you can only do so many. So I don't know. We're going to have to put them in some kind of order, and I wanna, I'll get to them all eventually. But what do you guys want to see? You guys better tell me. But we did Elite Series 89 sleeper set. Uh, fair enough, I think. A lot of good figures in Elite 89. So we unboxed the whole thing on the channel this week. I think tomorrow I'm going to do the final video with the rankings. So be on the lookout for that one. Same thing, Spider-Man No Way Home, the Marvel Legends wave. So we've done that wave now. We've done Age of Apocalypse. We've done the Spider-Man No Way Home. I believe tomorrow as well we're going to have the rankings and the Build-A-Figure Armadillo. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, I don't know where we go Marvel Legends wise after that. We have some kind of one off, some exclusive figures we can still do. We still got to do the What If wave. We still got to do the Eternals wave. There's a lot to do in Marvel Legends, so you guys can help dictate that what you want to do. Of course, we did our daily Star Wars unboxings. We always did. We did our Tuesday Jack's Classic Superstars video. We always do that. We also did from Super 7 Papa Emeritus number one ghost figure. If you missed that one, Pretty cool. That's Super 7 sleeper figure. I hope we see more heavy metal Super 7 figures. The week before, of course, we did King Diamond. Two figures great for the Halloween era. 
era of the month we're in, October. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so a lot of cool Halloween unboxings on the channel this week, as you guys have known. Uh, we also did Mortal Kombat Spawn. Spawn 11, Spawn Mania continues in the Mortal Kombat line. So we unboxed the newest one there. Uh, we unboxed the Thing, Marvel Legends, from the upcoming Fantastic Four Wave. We got Thing unboxed. And we did Webman, the fan channel exclusive Webman. Sleeper Spider-Man figure. Definitely check that video out. And then the granddaddy of them all this week, outside of the Warrior video, of course, was the figure hunt. I gave you guys an hour of figure hunting uh, fun out there. So a lot of stores, a lot of travel, a lot of states. Iowa, Missouri, Kansas. I hit stores throughout that area. It was very interesting to see what's on clearance right now, what is going to clearance. You long game players, now is your time. As things start off a little high on clearance, just a little bit of a clearance, and then they start every week going down. So it's a game of luck, it's a game of chance. It's a pretty fun game, as you guys play it too. But see what's going to clearance in some of your stores out there. And then uh, just the travels out there and some exciting pickups in the wild. Something that I never thought would ever happen to me. And we'll talk about that in the purchases scene. But a lot going on in the channel. I always appreciate you guys following along, commenting along. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We're trying to get to 11,000 subscribers. No. Uh, the next big one will probably be 20,000 subscribers. And we got to think something special to do for 20,000. So stay tuned for that. But let's do our first giveaway. How about, huh? Huh? First giveaway. And this will be the easiest one of all. You're already watching me on YouTube right now. All you have to do is like this video, hit the old thumbs up. Very easy. Do that right now. Just get it over with. I'll wait. Like this video, be subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So do that. I'll wait. And there you go. And then leave a comment down below. Just a comment of any kind. And, uh, you know, you got to end up probably following me on social media because how are we going to communicate with each other? But uh, make sure you comment below and then I will reply to your comment if you are a winner next week. I'm going to do this how I always do it. My daughter is usually Emma, the youngest Emma. She's going to pull the name. I would say, hey, pick one of these out of this list. Pick one. And that's what she does. And that's what we'll do here. But like, comment, subscribe on this video right here. And follow me on social media too. That's always a good start, but do that. But for this one, this is the YouTube giveaway. What I'm going to give away... Series 3 AEW Young Bucks. I have these floating around my collection as doubles. Free to you. I will pick up the shipping. I don't care where it goes. I'm a generous man. You guys are generous viewers. I'm sending this out as the YouTube giveaway. So like, comment, subscribe down below. Get the Young Bucks. There you go. Easy as that. Stay tuned later in the video. We have two more giveaways to do. So stay tuned for that. I also promised as part of the 10,000 subscribers special, we would do a Q&A video. Look for that sometime next week. I'll get that hammered out this weekend, and uh, we'll post that next week sometime. So there you go on that. So be prepared. Uh, how about we get into some news? But first, before we get into some news, I forgot to mention this last week, and I was kind of waiting, but good friend of the channel, Richie Faulkner of Judas Priest fame, the guitarist of Judas Priest. You guys remember our weekly purchases months ago or so. Uh, you know, I'm a huge Judas Priest fan. They're on my Mount Rushmore, one of my favorite metal bands of all time. If anybody asks Kyle, hey, what's heavy metal? Where would I start? I say Judas Priest Painkiller. That's where I start. That's where you got to start. But Richie Faulkner, big fan of the channel. It blew my mind when he reached out and sent me a message saying he loves the content. He especially loves the Star Wars videos, uh, all that kind of stuff. So a member of one of your all-time favorite bands that you don't know just happens to reach out to you. That is pretty cool. That was one of the coolest things this channel has ever brought me, if, if that makes sense. But for having a, a hero, guitar hero of one of my favorite bands to reach out to say how much he loves the channel was pretty cool for me. But if you guys uh, follow the heavy metal news, uh, he suffered a major heart event just on stage. And luckily, uh, I won't go into the whole story, but it was basically like he's totally healthy, you know, my age, uh, no issues, anything. It's just like the they said it was like the garden hose got unplugged from the wall and, and splitting everywhere. That's what happened to his heart right there on stage. And luckily, by a game of chance, uh, right basically across the street was a world-renowned heart hospital that specializes in this stuff. Somewhere in Kentucky, they were playing the Louder Than Life Festival. Uh, they just got done playing with Kirk Hammett, came on stage to join Judas Priest. Just crazy. So he could have died. He had a ten-and-a-half-hour heart operation. I mean, he's got all kinds of metal in his heart. He's truly made of metal now, but he's very lucky to have survived that. So just crazy bizarre, but we got to give the old Falcon, Richie Faulkner, we got to give him uh, all of our love and all of our best wishes and all that kind of stuff. Great friend of the channel. Uh, and it meant a lot to me when he reached out to say how much he liked these videos and stuff. I thought that was a pretty cool thing for him to do. He didn't have to do that. So get well, Richie. 
Uh, but now let's move into the wrestling news. How about we'll start with some wrestling news. We'll do some miscellaneous news. How we always do at the top of the show here. And uh, next week is Hasbro Pulse Con. So there should be a lot of Hasbro news this uh, next week. This week, pretty light on Hasbro news. I think really only like one or two things. But let's kick it off with some wrestling news this week. We saw first pictures of the AEW belt packs. Amazon exclusive. Uh, we've seen these in the past from Mattel. Uh, if you need a TNT title, a world title, a tag title, you can get this little belt pack. I don't know. I might get this. I might not. I don't really have a use for it right now. When they have a lot more figures out there, maybe you do need some extra belts. But right now, I don't know if I really need them. I'm not sure if a price point was said yet. I got to think maybe $14, $15, I would hope. Uh, we'll see. But that is out. So for you AEW completists, you got to pick that up. You got to do it. Uh, so that's coming out pretty soon. We also saw our old friends at FTC. We've talked about this figure like a year ago, but apparently it's about ready to start shipping. Alex Wright, Das Wonder Kid. If you guys remember the old WCW days, he was doing his dancing and everything. Dancing off with Disco Inferno even. But we're getting an FTC figure of him. I would love a Mattel of him. I'll take a Jazz Wears of him. I don't know if I need an FTC. That's not really my FTC wheelhouse, uh, the Alex Wright type figure. Um, the jacket is pretty cool, but you get what you get with FTC. Sometimes they're really good. The Demon, PCO, sometimes they're really bad. So I guess user uh, beware beware but you guys let me know if you're picking up this alex right i know there's a lot of excitement a lot of people want him for their wcw collection i just wish it scaled with mattel jazz wears and other lines out there but it does not but something that does supposedly scale with all this is sabu from cella their elite style figure they scrapped the sabu uh, rendering they first had they redid it they went back to the old well and they gave us even better sabu so i'm excited to be able to pre-order this Got to think this is coming out sometime 2022 at best, probably summertime 2022, but we'll see. I'd like to see that Dynamite, Dynamite Kid come hopefully pretty soon, but very exciting with some of these Chella retros they're doing in the Hasbro scale. I'm more excited about the retros in the Elite scale, we'll call it, so stay tuned for that, but Sabu's coming our way soon. But speaking of the Hasbro scale, the, the worst kept secret in retros, really, uh, from the Chella line is Hollywood Nova from the famed BWO ECW, classic ECW there. We'll have Stevie Richards, we'll have Nova, we'll have the Meanie, we'll have the entire BWO, or the ones that matter the most, we'll say. I'm excited for that one. I'm going to get all three of those BWO members. I love that a whole lot, so that is pretty cool. And then another wrestling news I wanted to touch on here. And I got my handy dandy iPad here off to the start, uh, off to the side. So I want to talk about it a little bit. But the Ringside Chaos by Squared Circle Toys Kickstarter has went live. Now we mentioned this a few weeks ago. They're coming out with uh, some different figures for your arena setup. You fig photographers, you guys should be all over this kind of stuff. Uh, it's going to be scaled people to go around your wrestling ring, stuff like that. So you're going to get a modern referee, a retro referee, an event staff member, of course, and a security guard. Now, an interesting thing is this is a Kickstarter. I don't know if some of you guys have done a Kickstarter or not. Uh, it's kind of like back in the ring, that kind of stuff. Is you back it with the, the money you want to put into it. And we'll talk about that a little bit here. You back it, and then if it is funded, I believe it's December 3rd, something like that, uh, is where they're going to say, okay, here's the cutoff line. If it's funded, the money leaves your account, and then the waiting game begins. And it looks like these are all planning on shipping in February 2023. So that is a heck of a long time for somebody to sit on your money. But these are pretty cool. This is something great, like I said, for you ring photographers, you, you guys that set up your rings and stuff. You need event security. You need an event staff. You need re referees. We could all use referees, one of the most unsung heroes in wrestling, if not the most unsung. Uh, and we've not got a ton of figures over the years of referees. So you get a modern referee, a classic referee, and they are all $30 a piece. So that is the key, a little bit more than an elite, a little bit more than jazz wear. But you got to remember, small company, the margins aren't as big. They don't have the targets, Walmarts, Amazons to sell to. Uh, $30 is a pretty good price point on this. It's not going to be Mattel. Uh, that's what we got to remember about a lot of these toy lines. The Chella, stuff like that, they don't have the buying power. They don't have the finances of the big companies. Uh, but I probably will support all these. I'm on the fence on a little bit. But you're looking at 30 points of articulation, uh, tons of different hands and accessories with these guys. It seems like they're really doing it up. Um, so you get 30 bucks each. Now I'm looking here. You can buy a four-pack bundle for 120 No savings, no discount there. Uh, but interesting, you get all four. And I think that's the, where I'm looking at going is the four-pack. Uh, but you can also do an eight-pack bundle. So you get two figures of each. And 
that makes sense for some of you guys. If you're really looking to build out some security event uh, guys, uh, you want extra referees for, you know, a pull of parts and things like that. There's some ideas there, but $235 eight pack bundle. You can also support this if you want to throw them a dollar because you like the idea, but you don't want to sponsor it. You can do that kind of stuff like any typical Kickstarter out there. You can also do world champion all in. It says backers for this tier receive one of every available item. Uh, da, 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 and it unlocks. Oh, and then there's stretch goals. So there's going to be stretch goals. We'll get into that too. Uh, there's an $800 tier, which is very interesting. If you pay $800, you get everything. But you also get your own head sculpt for a wrestling figure. They will make your head, sculpt it out, and uh, send it to you. That's pretty neat for you guys out there who want to be a figure and had like a world-class company or designer make your head sculpt. Here's your chance. So you get all that stuff uh, and a head sculpt of yourself for $800. I'm almost tempted to do that. How cool would that be? I think that would be a pretty cool, neat thing. But uh, some of the stretch goals out there, I'm pulling this up right here. So we got the uh, the regular four, and then you go to get a police detective. So that's unlocked at $107,000. So if they hit $107,000, you'll get that added on. And you'll have an opportunity for that. The medic, that's $120,000. That's a good one. A medic, you guys know, we need those stretcher jobs, that kind of stuff. I like the blue gloves on the medic too that they have here. Uh, then you get a timekeeper. Eh, anybody could really be a timekeeper. It almost looks like, uh, uh, oh gosh, what were Jinder Mahal's, uh, the Bollywood boys or whatever when they were with Jinder Mahal. That's kind of what that figure reminds me of. They also have the Lucha referee that kind of looks like a soccer referee to me. Retro camera operator. So there's a lot of these extra ones that will be unlocked. Uh, as I'm filming this video right now, they just they just went live uh, two three hours ago I think and we're up to three thousand one hundred and forty three dollars of the ninety nine thousand dollar goal. Long way to go, short time to get there. I believe December third is the end. I will try to remember to link to this in uh, the the comments down here and stuff like that, so you guys can at least check this out. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to buy at least one of these figures, support this kind of stuff. Like I said, I think I'm buying the four pack, but boy, that head is awfully tempting. I might send it to my old buddy, Dave Wheeler. He could paint it up, get it going real good. You never know. You never know what I might do, but I found this to be interesting. And this, I think we're going to see more and more of this. Uh, I know Shardimus Prime has his street humans out right now. Uh, we could talk about those one day, maybe next week if it's a little slower or the next week. Uh, so there's a lot of these things going on. I think we'll see more of that uh, throughout the years. And I think we'll see big companies that has Rosa Mattel's doing this as well in the future. And you got to think Jazzwares is going to jump into this somewhere along the line. I would almost bet the house 2022 we'll see a Jazzwares uh, Kickstarter type thing going on. So interesting wrestling news. A little bit slower this week, but that's okay. I think next week be a little bit more news on that front but some miscellaneous news this week super seven came in hot i know there's a lot of power ranger fans out there uh super seven is going to release more power ranger figures yes you heard me right more power ranger figures which uh, they're giving that Rita Repulsa looks amazing Look, blows away the hasbro lightning collection we're getting the pink ranger with two heads both heads out there you got cat or you got a kimberly you can choose which ranger or you buy two of them one of each. You could do that as well. Getting Jason the Red Ranger. King Sphinx blowing away that hot garbage Hasbro one. You guys saw me. One of the most infuriating unboxings we've ever done on the channel. I think I ended up throwing his wings across the room mid-review. I was so frustrated by it. Uh, and then we're also getting the Dragon Zord. So that is pretty cool. So it's a pretty cool four-pack set out there. Five-pack. I should learn to count. That old outlaw Wayland Jennings, he's probably all over this. I, I'm pretty sure he is, actually. Uh, it almost makes me want to dive in. It almost makes me say, I should just sell my Lightning Collection and move over to the Super 7 ones. Just get my core characters from Super 7. Uh, if you guys are on the fence, and we talk about this with Big Bad Toy Store all the time, buy your Super 7. I, I, I'm a shill for them, I guess. We'll, we'll call that. But I just don't like people sitting on my money. I like to order my Super 7 figures through Big Bad Toy Store. You're guaranteed to get them, and guess what? You don't sh you don't pay till they ship. If you order straight from Super 7, it's your prerogative. You can do that, but they take your money right away, and they sit on it for a year. Wouldn't you like to have that money? What if you accidentally chop your finger off in a mowing accident? Wouldn't you like to have that $250 just in case? Uh, that's what I say. And then Big Bad Toy Store, you can cancel at any time. So that's I just think that's a no-brainer from where I sit. Maybe from where you sit, it's somewhere differently. But I always say, go to the link in the description below. Supports the channel when you go through my link. But it also, I just think it makes smart business sense. I would be promoting it either way. Uh, that's how I do all my stuff. But an exciting line. I just don't know how many lines can I get into. I, I'd almost think about selling all my Lightning Collections and moving over to this one, though. 
I don't know. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned, as they say. But speaking of Super 7, it sounds like Thundercats Series 5 will be going up for pre-order in November. So I would look to see some stuff of that here in the next couple of weeks as far as who's in Series 5. Uh, I just can't wait to get Series 2. Got Series 3. Haven't unboxed them on the channel yet. You guys are going to have to tell me in the comments. We'll talk about it more later. Where do we start? What do we do for unboxings on the channel? we got so much stuff. I just want to prioritize it in what you guys want to see because I want to see it all, and I'm going to get to it all eventually. It's just when you got 50 figures, there's only so much time. But uh, Super 7 Thundercats Series 5, you know for me that's a day one pre-order. I love me some Thundercats. We also saw the only Hasbro Marvel Legends. It's been a quiet week this week, but Captain Carter... Uh, Target exclusive, a, a repaint of the What If one. This one does not get me excited at all. I haven't opened the What If one yet, though, the traditional one, so we'll see. But it's it, everything's a cash grab, as we always say, but this really feels like a cash grab, just giving us a cheap repaint. But it is what it is. If you guys want it, it'll be available at Target. I don't think this one will be that hard to get. So uh, that is the only really Marvel Legends news this week. And then one that came last week from the Star Wars Black series, right as I was filming, this one went down. Rumors leaked out there that, remember last year around Christmas time, or I think about this time of year, Star Wars Black series had repaints for Christmas. And I was all out on those. I passed on them. I probably made the right decision. Part of me would like to have those as part of a Christmas display, but I said, eh, I'm done. I don't need it. But it sounds like there's going to be a Chewbacca Christmas themed with a Santa Claus type hat on. Oh, I, I can't not get that. You guys know I love hairy bipedal creatures, Chewbacca, Christmas. Man, I'm buying two of those. So give me that all day long. Hopefully, I, I got a feeling at HasbroCon next week when they do the Star Wars panel, I think they'll announce the Christmas figures. Very cheap repaints, re-releases. But Chewbacca, Christmas gear... That's my guy. That's my guy. I'm all in on that one. So we'll see how that goes. And then we turn this week. We got some uh, He-Man Masters Universe Revelation news this week. And I don't know if the news is officially out there. I think originally it was supposed to be 2022. But the Kevin Smith Netflix series coming back November 23rd. Great for binge watching over Thanksgiving weekend. I know a lot of people absolutely hate it and detest it. I mean, I don't know if there's been a more controversial cartoon in the history of my life at this point. I like it for what it is. That's how I, I always try to find the beauty and the joy in most things. And I try to put some things behind me and just enjoy it for what it is. A lot of people were mad about the first half, but it's like Star Wars. I mean, is that's how it sums it up to me. It's like Star Wars, the bad guys, Empire Strikes Back. As we ended with Empire Strikes Back, the bad guys got the lead. They're, they're owning the world. Now it's time for the Return of the Jedi half. And that's where we're going to come. you got to know everything's going to be back to normal. That's just the way things work. It writes itself, really. If you take that old step back, you put on that old business hat. Business hat, much like a newsboy hat. It's got a little press pass, stuff like that. That's kind of what it's like. But I'm excited to watch it. But we got figure announcements. We got deluxe figure announcements this week. So we knew Savage He-Man was coming. We saw the leaked images from PowerCon. We saw impact samples now. And it has Orko. Yes, Orko. Uh, pretty annoying in the original series. Somewhere in the middle here. Fairly annoying in 2000. For the most part, an annoying character, I would think. Maybe kids love him. I don't know. But we're getting Orko and Savage He-Man. Almost looks like Kazar from the old Marvel Legends days. Uh, I like this one, though. And this is one of the most confusing lines of all time. They're kind of all over the place. And the one issue I really see, though, with the Masters, of, the Masters of the Universe Revelations line to me is they are peg warming in every single store in my areas. The, the shelves are packed full. I don't see those moving anywhere. Target this week has $25 off 100 in toys. I haven't seen that make a dent in anything. I don't know how well this line is going to do if nobody's buying it at retail. You come out with Series 2, 3, 4... Where are you even going to put them? There's no room to put them on the pegs. These are going to go to clearance. I just don't feel this line is selling very well. I think there's enough negative buzz with the cartoon, which I think is a little bit fair, but mostly unfair. It's just where I said it is what it is. Uh, I just think this toy line is really having some troubles, and uh, I don't know. Will we see these? I think we will, but I just don't know how it's going to go. I pre I'm going to pre-order, I guess, for Big Bad Toy Store, because at least I know I'll get them eventually, because I just don't know how they're going to come to retail if the shelves are clogged with the old sets. Uh, but we got that, and then we got Deluxe King Grayskull. Same thing, we saw him at uh, PowerCon. A lot of people were upset that King Grayskull was, there was race changing, now he's a black guy. It is what it is. That kind of stuff happens all the time in most shows and stuff. Characters get recast. It is what it is. I understand it. Nobody likes change. Especially me, I don't like change either, but it didn't ruin my day. It didn't ruin my day. I'll go that far with it. So there you go. 
Uh, so that's the little He-Man talk. We'll have some He-Man in weekly purchases, so stay tuned for that one. And then our friends at NECA coming in hot this week, and it sounds like the Pizza Monster. Oh, you remember the Pizza Monster? About like nine months ago, we pre-ordered it on the NECA website. Sounds like it's starting to ship as there's some pictures from China out there. And I want to say I ordered two or three of those bad boys. So it'll be interesting to see when those finally come. But it sounds like Turtle Anxiety is starting to ramp back up. I would expect we'll have those in November. Hopefully they come from the pre-order before I find them in stores, or I'm going to be hot. Ooh, I'll be hot, but... Coming soon, Turtles, be aware of that one. We, we're backed up on Turtle unboxings too, so we'll see. We'll see where we go on this channel. But that's the Pizza Monster. And then we saw a lot of Gremlins talk this week. And you guys know I love Gremlins. I'm a kid of the 80s. We loved our Gremlins movie. One of the first movies I ever saw at the theater was Gremlins 1. I love Gremlins 2 as well. But we got the NECA Mogwai Pack. It's like a five-pack of different uh, Mogwais. Uh, there you go, NECA Mogwai five-pack. I'm glad they're putting these all together in one pack instead of releasing them separately. I just feel like it's just a lot of work to track all five down. So put them all in a pack. Put them in for 100 bucks. They're on Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. Set it. Forget it. Order it. It'll cost when it ships. Uh, I signed up for that. And that's coming early in 2022. And then they announced a fun one. A NECA accessory pack for Gremlins. Now this is one they tried to use the Kickstarter model for a couple years back. And it failed, unfortunately. But it was kind of the flash dance uh, gremlin with the flash dance outfit from the scene in the movie. Uh, you get two different little gizmos, one coming with a car. Remember when he drove that in the movie there? Uh, just some nice accessories to go to put with your other gremlins. Just a really cool pack. So I'm here for that all day. And as we always say, you know, they're going to get the most out of their molds. If they're making something to show and they try a Kickstarter and it fails, guess what? It's coming out eventually somewhere else. Mattel, that ring, there was a lot of talk about the ring about a month or so ago. I guarantee guarantee you if that would have ended up failing we would have seen that all that stuff eventually maybe not in 2022 maybe 2023 2024 you would have saw it eventually they wouldn't just throw away the work they did there and scrap it it would have came back around that's how all those things work and we've seen it right here with NECA but that is cool two cool NECA packs uh, gremlins a sleeper movie out there is it a Christmas movie is it a horror movie is it a comedy what is it it's all things in between if you ask me and then we saw McFarlane coming in hot. You guys know Todd McFarlane, the master of the variant, the master of the chase, the master of the repaints, honestly. Uh, GameStop, seven GameStop exclusives. Uh, there's some Batman, Witcher, stuff I don't really follow. But one thing that caught my eye right off, I love Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing is one of my favorites. Uh, I love Swamp Thing movies when I was a kid. I love the cartoon series. I'm here for that Swamp Thing, but it sounds like the GameStop one might have antlers to it, which is, I guess, a different Swamp Thing uh, incarnation. Uh, and then you can get the traditional Swamp Thing out at normal retailers. And I picked that one up on Amazon. I pre-ordered and then I pre-ordered one from GameStop. But I'm thinking about canceling the antlers version. I don't know that version. And do I really need two Swamp Things with just antlers difference? Uh, you got to make, you know, with these price inflation, the way inflation's going... You got to make some tough decisions out there. You got to make some tough decisions. It's so funny how inflation and uh, cargo ship delays and all that stuff is in the news so heavy right now. And you guys that watch every single week, we've been talking about this since March, April. We knew this was coming. And uh, we know, and I've been saying as well, come first of the year, January, February, guess what? More increases are coming. I've been saying this all along. I'm just breaking news here on the channel, and you guys know that. Uh, so be prepared for that. It'll be an interesting Christmas season. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand, as you guys saw in my figure hunts this week, how many Targets and Walmarts are clearancing all these toys out. It's just that's kind of the disconnect. There's always that disconnect from corporate offices and the main thing down to individual stores. They're clearancing stuff out. If I was a manager, I wouldn't be clearancing any of that stuff out. I'd say there's supposed to be toy shortages. We need at least something on the pegs. Let's just keep this stuff at full price and just wait and see. We can always do a big clearance event after Christmas. That's how I do it, uh, but it depends on physical years, stuff like that. I understand how some of that goes too, but boggles my mind. There's supposed to be all these shortages, but then they're clearance and stuff out. But it could go back to what I was told last week, and this was in the news. So I broke this news uh, on the channel, I guess, last week. I don't know if this. I'm like a young Dan Rather, basically, at this point. But we broke it. We talked about last week that I heard from some of the guys I know at Target and Walmart that sit in pretty good positions. They were sending workers, truck drivers, to these ports to help speed up the process. That's a reason why we got so many Marvel Legend waves all at once. How do we get five waves at once at Walmarts? Well, they sped up the process. They cut out the middleman. They hurried up and took Walmart drivers over there to bring it back. 
So Target's Walmarts are doing that. Uh, unfortunately, your mom and pop comic book store, big bad toy stores of the world, they can't do that because they don't have the, pow the power, the millions of dollars, the transportation. Uh, they're at the mercy of everybody else. And this makes a lot of sense here because our next segment here, Weekly Purchases, is Kyle's Toy Delays of this week. So a lot of emails coming through with toy delays this week. I'm sure a lot of you guys got these same ones. And it's from Hasbro Pulse is where almost all these are. There's a little Walmart in here too and Loot Crate. But toy delays, we got an email, Barbecue, G.I. Joe, Cobra Island, Target exclusive, delayed till December. Batman McFarlane, uh, that big $50 McFarlane one with the big cape. I pre-ordered that kind of out of FOMO, but I didn't really care too much about it. They canceled my order this week and as an apology sent me a $5 gift card. I'll take that all day long. I should pre-order everything. Maybe I'll get lucky like that. But then I heard you could just use that $5 and go back and pre-order it again on their site. So that's kind of funny. I skipped. I said, I don't need that big Batman in my collection. So I'm just going to say, I don't need it, and I got a free $5. So kudos to Kyle. Uh, sun's always shining somewhere. So, But that got delayed for a lot of people. Loot Crate Ninja Turtles. We got the Danny we showed last week. I still haven't unboxed Danny. Do you guys want to see Danny? Let me know. Uh, but the next loot crate sounds like got delayed from uh, November-ish to uh, sometime in December. So that's got delayed out there. AEW Walmart exclusive Jazzware Sting figure. Supposed to be here this week. Delayed till middle of December now. And then Boss Fight. I ordered these in March. Or no, early January, February. They were supposed to be released late spring 2021. Now they're delayed all the way to spring 2022. That's where Big Bad Toy Store comes in great because they would have been sitting on my money for two years. Now they don't. I don't pay anything till they ship. So once again, Big Bad Toy Store getting a lot of plugs going on here. But there's a lot of delays and there's stuff for manufacturer delays. And then come first of the year, you got Chinese New Year, and you old Jacks fans of the old days, you old timers like me, you guys know all about Chinese New Year, slowing down everything. Uh, the factories take like a month off. So there's some serious delays coming no matter what. If Target and Walmart are still going to the ports, we're still going to see some delays as we saw with these delays here. So, man, hard times, hard times, hard times. So there you go. You guys let me know in the comments any of that kind of stuff interests you. What you think. What did you get delayed this week? I'm sure a lot of you guys got some of the similar emails uh, that I did. So there you go. Album of the week this week, Iced Earth Horror Show. We're keeping that kind of horror theme this month and this is a concept album by iced earth and i am a huge iced earth fan i've loved them for a long time i remember they were playing their first show in the midwest and i don't even know how many years and i had a college test that i couldn't miss if i would have missed the test back in the day uh, i would have failed the class so i couldn't skip it couldn't go to the show very disappointing for uh, young kyle out there luckily i've seen it probably 10 times since unfortunately i don't know if we'll ever hear from iced earth ever again as we saw john schaefer uh, kind of go a little crazy go out to the white house and kind of uh, take matters into his own hands we saw that we saw that look that story up but Putting that aside, his music is amazing. Judas Priest, Kiss, Blue Oyster Cult, Iron Maiden inspired, heavy riffs, great songs. Uh, what's always held them back is so many different vocalists over the years, but fabulous vocalists. Barlow, Stu Block, uh, Tim Ripper Owens, uh, even John Schaefer sometime himself. An amazing band, so many good albums, but I figured horror shows great where they're singing about the horror, uh, the universal horror monsters out there, singing about the Wolfman, singing about Dracula, just a solid album, but most of their albums are solid. I do recommend, they are a sleeper band out there. If you love Maiden and Priest and a lot of other metal bands, you'll love yourself some Iced Earth. So you owe it to yourself to check out Iced Earth and to start with Horror Show. Why not? Not their best album, but it's Halloween themed. It's great for the month of October out there. So Iced Earth is the album of the week. And let's do another giveaway. How about, how about it? Another giveaway here. Let's grab one. You guys, we'll talk about this here in, in a second, but we're going to give away these two. We'll make this one the Twitter giveaway. Yes, Twitter, there it is. There it is. We've got China, Trish Stratus. We've got Mankind and Stone Cold Steve Austin. The brand new battle packs out there. Uh, free to you guys. I'll ship them away. All you got to do is find my weekly purchases uh, message post that I'll post, of course, on Saturday out there. Uh, make sure you give it the old heart. You like it, of course. Leave me a comment down below and tag two friends. Tag two friends in there and then we're off to the races. You like it. You comment, you tag two people, and I appreciate a retweet as well. Make sure you retweet it. Retweet, like, tag two people in the comments, and once again, my daughter, she will draw a winner. And we'll announce these next Saturday on Weekly Purchases. But if you want these, that's all you got to do. Like, 
comment, tag two people. And you got to be following me too, of course. So there you go, because I got to reach out to you. So make sure you follow me. Follow, like, comment, and tag two people on the Twitter giveaway at SirPaul64, as you guys know by now. So there it is. There's these two. Now let's get into it. Let's get into the weekly purchases. And of course, we got one more giveaway to do in weekly purchases for Instagram. All right, guys, let's get down to it. Let's get down to the weekly purchases. Part of the 10,000 subscriber extravaganza this video is turning out to be. We will have one more giveaway for Instagram, so stay tuned. We'll do that somewhere in here. But it's another huge week of pickups this week. Between new things, clearance things, things through the mail, all of the fun stuff we get. I'm probably going to have to do this in three shifts like we've had to do the last two weeks. Boy, it's been an expensive October month. Uh, we'll see what November, December brings. My gut tells me going to be pretty slow, and that'll be really good on my wallet and possibly your guys' wallets as well. So we'll see where that ends up shaking out to and where that ends up going. But let's start it off, and we're going to start off with fire. Absolute fire. Let's start it off of AEW Unmatched, Series 1, Chase Edition, Darby Allen, 1 of 5,000. Look at that boy, bad boy. I got home, I put it in a protective case right away as I do have some of those cases, just in case of one of these things happen out there. But there's old Darby. Now, if you guys watch my figure hunting video, you saw me find this live. Found it right there in the store. All captured, all on video for everybody to see. I mean, I was in shock. I have never found a chase. As you guys know, I've never found a chase in the store before. Going all the way back to Jack's Ruthless Aggression when they'd have the 1 of 500 chase belts, which were pretty stupid. It wasn't a big thing for me back then, but I never came across one ever. Never came across an AEW chase ever until this day. Just happened to go into a store about, I don't know, around 5 o'clock, a Target right by my hotel in, uh, I think it was Olathe, Olathe, Kansas, down in the Kansas City area. Just happened to go there. And you know the crazy thing about this was, uh, I was filming, you know, I went down the Marvel Legends uh, Star Wars aisle and stuff. I said, well, let's see what they got for wrestling. So I turned the corner and there's a dude going through the wrestling figures. He's sitting there. So I didn't want to film him and go it over his shoulder, you know. That's the hard thing about filming in stores. You don't want anybody around. And if there is people around, you got to talk kind of soft because you just look like an absolute maniac. And they're partially right. I am an absolute maniac. But I waited for this guy and he thumbed through all these figures. So he saw this and he passed it up. I, I was... That was what blow my blew my mind afterwards. You know, I go through, and you guys saw it right there on camera. I went through, looked at them, and I immediately saw the red. That's how you always know it's a chase. You see this red on the side. Bam, you got a chase. I saw that, and I said, oh, my gosh. I was, I was like frozen moment in time. It's like moments, uh, just time stood still right there. I couldn't believe here was this Darby Allen. So I can finally say I found one in the wild. Uh, just a cool moment. I was glad I was able to film that. Uh, even though some people, you know, I posted on social media, somebody said I staged it all. It wasn't real. It was all for the YouTube channel. I just don't, I try to break that down. We take that step back we always do on the channel. I don't know if I had a chase figure. If I would bring it into a Target store and then I would put it on the peg and then I would leave the aisle and then I'd come back and film it. What if somebody came and grabbed it in that meantime, in that little few seconds? And then what's store security going to say about that when you do leave the store with this? Are you going to rebuy it again? It just seems like a lot of work, and I don't know. Do, do people fake finding chases out there? Maybe I don't watch enough YouTube. Maybe there's people that do that. I don't know. But I think those of you guys who watch my videos know I would not stoop to that. I don't think I would ever... I'm not smart enough to do that. Let's just put it that way. And I don't know why anybody would do that, but I was just blown away if somebody would think that I would bring something like this into a store, put it on the pegs, and, and fake the whole thing. just seems awfully, awfully crazy. But there it is. There it is. The chase has been found. Hopefully, I find some more chases. You guys know I tapped out on the chases a couple of sets ago. I said there's too many characters I really don't care about. I don't really need chases of them. But Darby Allen's pretty cool because you know what? He's got face paint and a skateboard. So I'll take that chase all day long. Uh, you guys saw my video this week uh, as well. I went into one of my local uh, Walmart stores, and lo and behold, a whole end cap full of battle pack, showdown packs, let's call it, got called by, by their real name, showdown packs now, just chilling there. And I said, what the heck's going on? What is what is with these showdown packs? Um, so I see them, and I look, and it, and it says $5. And I said, oh, that can't be right. And then, of course, these Walmarts took out the price scanners. It was always nice just to walk up to that scanner. Yes, you can get the app on the phone, but I want to go get the scanner. But luckily, there was a guy around the corner. I said, hey, could you scan this? And it was $5. I said, you've got to be kidding me. Five bucks. So for five bucks, I couldn't pass up this John Cena HBK pack right here. I did not have that, nor would I buy that unless it was $5. 
Uh, and then another one I didn't really want, but for five bucks, why not? There's Mankind, there's Stone Cold Steve Austin. I wouldn't mind unboxing this one and just comparing this Mankind to some of the Elites. Let's see how different this one really is from the Elites. So if it's not different at all, you guys could just go back and buy this one and skip the Elites if you're trying to track that down. But I picked these up. Uh, we did a giveaway earlier. I picked up a lot of these, actually. I picked up a ton of them. For five bucks each, I said, guess what? I'm going to use them as giveaways on my channel. I'll take a couple for me that I didn't have, but for five bucks, I can't pass it up. Giveaways, a few for me, and a few for toys for tots at the end of the year. I mean, that's a great giving the gift of wrestling, and even better when I give it for $5. So there you go. But I found those two out there. So check your stores. As you guys saw in my figure hunting video, and I'm sure your stores are the same way, they are swimming in these showdown packs. I don't know what happened, if it's pipeline issues or what, but I anticipate a lot of stores clearancing these out. I mean, there was stores that had full end caps, plus the upper bay, plus the shelf, packed on my figure hunt and they're not going to move all those at you know 18 19 dollars a piece just not going to happen so long gamers out there uh stay tuned for those or try to win them on my giveaway you guys know the rules uh so there you go speaking of wrestling figures i also got through the mail this week legend series 12 jyd regular edition this is the first one as of right now uh, that has popped in to my mailbox we'll see where the rest of the set is uh, my wife handles all the target stuff she is miss target she's in targets more than i am she loves to get her coffee she loves to shop there every day it drives me crazy if you guys think i have a, a bad monthly bill on figures you should see her monthly target bill uh, it would make uh, a grown man cry, and I do every time I pay it at the end of the month. Uh, but we'll see. I need to check with her. Hey, what's the status of the other ones? Because this one just came out of the blue. Uh, so I got JYD. Maybe we'll unbox him next week. We'll see. Maybe we'll wait for the others. Uh, we'll see what happens. Then if you saw my figure hunt this week as well, I don't even know what town I was in. Was it Excelsior Springs, uh, Old Stan Lee's town? Uh, there were so many Walmarts and Targets I was in, I don't even know where I was. But I came across the Hollywood John Cena on the shelf, just chilling. No Piper, no Rock, just John Cena. And I said, well, why not? I'm going to pick it up. I know nothing, nothing about Fast and Furious. I've never seen one Fast and Furious movie. Jacob Toretto nothing i know nothing about this i'm planning on probably displaying these with those ghostbuster figures i don't know where else they would really go maybe john cena I'm, I'm not sure but i got him through the mail this week and then on that figure hunt as well you saw this one the long chase is over i got the apollo cruise chase i've been haunting cole stores a few other stores out there and i came across apollo and i came across two more warlords out there as well i did pass on those two warlords no warrior left, but or no warlord left behind. Went out the window real quick when I found uh, a handful of stuff. I needed a cart, really. Uh, I didn't have room to hold the warlord. So uh, Apollo Cruz through the door. Happy to have that one done. As you guys know, I have a complete elite collection. Trying to keep it that way. Trying to. Uh, then we turn our attention to some He-Man. Yes, He-Man. Masters of the Universe Revelations. I ordered these on Amazon a while back. And look who showed up today. Old Spycor came. So I still need to get a Man-at-Arms, Tila, of course, and then Beastman. But I guess they're starting to trickle out. I doubt we'll ever see these on the store pegs the way the pegs are with Series 1. Where is Series 2 going to fit in? We'll see, but I haven't pre-ordered on Amazon. We'll see if they eventually the rest come. But I got Spycor, so we'll see. That's another one we can unbox on the channel. Um, and then speaking of uh, He-Man, part of the Double Up Club, of course, uh, Master of the Universe Origin, Lords of Power, there it is, Beast Man. So this is not the Beast Man most people think of, but I did get this via our good friends at Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, link in the description below. And of course, I got two. One to open, one min on card. There it is. Two Beast Men through the door and a Spy Corps. Masters of the Universe Mania running wild in my house right now. Now, here's one I'm pretty excited about. Now, I love Ninja Turtles. Turtle anxiety is a real thing. And thanks to you guys that bought t-shirts at Pro Wrestling Tees this week. I got to give a shout out to you guys. A lot of people actually bought some t-shirts. 20% uh, off. Why wouldn't you? Got to get a deal out there. I get it. Get a deal on the shirts. Why wouldn't you? Save uh, more money for your figures. But thanks to all you guys that picked up a shirt out there. That Turtle Anxiety shirt sweeping the nation. Make sure you get one. And I've had a little bit of Turtle Anxiety about this one for a while. I collect the movie figures. I collect the cartoon figures. But you know what I don't collect? The uh, arcade figures. They're just not for me. I just don't need them. Turtles in time. I got the arcade cabinet in my house, but that's as far as I'm going to go. Except 
This one was so special, I knew I couldn't pass it up. What is it? Pirate, Bebop, and Rocksteady. There it is. Uh, a cool repaint of the traditional Bebop and Rocksteady that we got, but in Pirate. You guys know I'm a sucker for Pirates out there. Anybody with an eye patch or a Pirate Sword or a Peg Leg especially, uh, sign your boy Kyle up. So I had to pick this one up. I thought it was just cool, too cool not to pick up. Uh, so I did get this Bebop Rocksteady this week. Look for this unbox. I'm so anxious to unbox this. We might even do it tonight. Saturday night we might do it. Who knows? If not then, maybe Sunday. Uh, but be on the lookout for that one. And then on the figure hunt, of course, I finally came around on this one. Angel, Devil, they were arguing. I was planning on passing on this, but then you see it for the first time in stores. You didn't see anything else in the store. You said, you know what? Maybe I will pick this up. A $30 price point, not terrible. I got Adam West. I've got uh, Burt Ward's Robin. I got the Joker. I got the Batmobile. You gotta have the back cave. Not sure where I'm gonna display this. Uh, you could see this possibly in a that's so hard to say goodbye video here in the future. We'll see. That's where that might end up going. But got the back cave, Batman 66 back cave, all in on that one. So found that out there on the mean streets. And then I also found on clearance. Cyclonus, you guys know I'm once again dabbling into Transformers. Uh, I sell my Transformers because I get all angry about their scaling and stuff. And then they come back out with new figures. And then they come out with the movie and get in the theater. And then I'm convinced. And then I'm next thing you know, I'm buying Cyclonus. So there it is. Cyclonus through the door. So there's the first round of weekly purchases. How about we start round two? All right, as I got my stuff to the side, we begin round two of weekly purchases. And you guys know I'm going to be unboxing these right away. Let's jump into it. AEW Unrivaled Series 7, Nyla Rose. There she is, looking only like she could look, as some might say. Interesting. This is an interesting set, and we're going to talk about it in depth like we always do on the channel. So be on the lookout for those. Uh, we've got Lance Archer, of course. Don't call him Hoyt. He's an archer. Lance Archer from Series 7. Dax Harwood. FTR, close personal friends of mine, FTR. I don't know if you guys knew that, but uh, my daughter Elle and I, good friends. Uh, we met them when they were the Revival, of course, but FTR. We'll see how this one goes. And, of course, you can't have that one without old Cash Wheeler. Old Cash Wheeler right there. There he is in Series 7. And then the Young Bucks. Everybody needs Nick Jackson. Who doesn't need a Nick Jackson? Who doesn't need a Matt Jackson? We got Nick and Matt Jackson from Series 7. Their triumphant return to the line. Everybody said, when are we getting more Young Bucks figures in AEW? And they said, you know what? Series 7. We'll give you another one. Uh, and if you want Series 3, make sure you find uh, the first giveaway at the beginning of the channel. You got three chances for giveaways this week. Uh, a lot. Who's giving away that much stuff? There you go. Get in there. Get after it. And then the final one of round two right here is my boy. I finally got it in. Found this just uh, minutes ago before I filmed weekly purchases. There it is. NECA Cartoon Ninja Turtles giant size. Old Donatello. So we got Michelangelo. Or no, we got Raphael. And now we got Donatello. Leonardo, I think, is next. I think. Uh, but we got this through the door this week. Man, that's a big, big, big one. So now... We got this. We got one more round to go, but let's do our Instagram giveaway. Let's do it right now. What do you say, guys? We've got another battle pack. I might as well give these out. You know, we got HBK John Cena, and we got another Mankind Stone Cold. So all you got to do is make sure you follow me on Instagram, of course. Leave a comment in the Instagram post for this video. Tag a friend. Tag a friend. Maybe they'll follow me. There you go. Let's grow the followers on Instagram. Let's grow them on Twitter. Let's grow them on YouTube. But just put a comment down below of this weekly purchase. Tag at least one friend. And you better be following me too. Uh, and follow me on YouTube. Follow me on uh, SirPaul64 on Twitter, of course, as well. But that'll be the Instagram giveaway. HBK and John Cena. Rock and St Rock. Stone Cold and Mankind. That'll be these two we're giving away. And I got more giveaways too. I bought a bunch of different stuff. So maybe in the upcoming weeks we'll do some more giveaways. But three in one video I think is fair enough. It covers the YouTube. It covers Twitter. And then, of course, it covers Instagram. So we got three giveaways. Make sure you follow the rules as laid out in this video. So now let's do round three of weekly purchases. All right, round three is here. We got one and two done. Man, three's next. There you go. So now round three is a lot of stuff I found in my figure hunting. Some clearance event specials this week. I ended up finding Blur, or playing a little of that long game. 1884. It was 1899 on Amazon. I said, oh, got to get a deal. If you can even save a dollar, do it. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about saving money. The more money you save, the more money you can spend on other figures. That's how I've broken it down since I was the youngest of kids. 
Uh, we got Blur from Studio 86 Transformers. And then Old Man Cup. Same thing with him. Got Cup as well. Uh, Old Man Cup. I relate more and more to him every single day as we talked about last week. It's just funny how those things work. Uh, but yeah, Cup through the door this week. So a little Transformers action. And then Mattel Basics. Now, not a basic, guys. You guys know. But first time in the line. I'm picking them up all day long. And this is one of those ones that's first time in the line, last time in the line. And I ended up picking this one up at my local Walmart store. Uh, old Jake Atlas. And I'm not sure which one is the chase, but it's White Trunks Jake Atlas. And then apparently I ordered one off of Amazon at one time or another because this one came in the mail. So I ended up getting both Jake Atlases. I don't know if I really need both of these. I might return the Amazon one because uh, I don't know if I need two. But I'm not sure. Do I like the white or do I like the black better? I, I don't know. What's better? You guys tell me in the comments. Which one should I keep in my collection? Which one should I return? I'm kind of leaning towards black. I'm just a black guy. You know, I love I love uh, heavy metal. I love the black t-shirts, all that kind of stuff. Unless I'm wearing my Rio shirt. Got to promote old Rio. Oh, just a jewel. Just a jewel, that Rio. Just absolutely love her. Uh, it's going to be sad. As you guys saw in the figure hunting this week, she's starting to disappear from stores. The dancing is coming to a screeching halt. It's like somebody got the record needle and went, because we're not finding Rio. Even in the deepest, darkest areas of Kansas, where nobody is. Nobody lives but cows and wheat fields and a little Walmart here. There's not even a Rio out there. So it's getting danger dangerously close to the end of Rio mania. I don't know what I'll do. I might stop figure hunting. That's what I might do. Uh, but let's finish it off with a few more clearance ones. Uh, I got Professor X, $13. Now, Kyle, you're saying, Kyle, why'd you pick this up? You already have this. Yes, I do. $13, pretty good deal. Uh, but you guys know someday I'll get Sentinel figures. I'm hoping it's in this year, but I don't know. Will I ever get my Sentinels? But those Sentinels come with figures with extra heads and you need another body. I like this Ch Charles Xavier body. As you pop the head off, it's just a black body. I think I might be able to use that for one of those extra mini Sentinel heads. So that's why I picked this up. $13, much better than $20. Got to get a deal. You guys know how it goes. Same thing. I ended up picking Morlin up. I saw all those waves of uh, the new Marvel Legends out there in my travels in that figure hunting video. But I got another Morlin, and I figured I know exactly what I'm going to do with this Morlin figure. I got some customizer plans out there, so stay tuned for that one. And then I had to pick up two of these guys as well. Uh, sleeper packs right here. The old Vault Guardsman. I've been threading it for a while. I said, I think I need three of these guys. And I'm not even a big Vault Guardsman fan, but if I'm going to get them, I'm going to get them at a clearance price. That's just the way it's going to go. So two Vault Guardsmen. And you want to know what? I thought this was it. I have a whole other stack of stuff. So we're going to have to do round four. Yes, we're going into the deep rounds. Round four weekly purchases following up here. Let's do it. Let's take a look at round four next absolute craziness in weekly purchases this week fourth round of weekly purchases i don't know if we've ever been in these deep of waters in these videos before but it makes sense it's the 10,000 subscriber special here go big or go home and i'm not even counting all the extra battle packs i bought i bought a ton of those like i said for toys or tots uh, future giveaways so we didn't even go through all those and plus the ones we were having for the giveaways on this video here for instagram youtube and twitter so make sure you follow those rules on those but let's do it well let's start off round four of weekly purchases and we're back to masters of universe origins we're talking about Webster. Webster Long, uh, you know, George Papadopoulos, you got Ma'am, you got George, and of course you got Webster Long. Sentin' fires in his closet, all that kind of stuff. Oh, wait, this isn't Webster Long. This is Webster, the evil master of escape. That's a different, different Webster of the 80s, but we got Webster via Big Bad Toy Store as well this week. Gotta love that, of course. And you know how I do it. You gotta get two. You gotta have two Websters. Uh, if they came out with an actual Webster Long figure, I would actually buy two Webster Longs because... Uh, probably my favorite show of the 80s was Webster. I loved it. Loved Webster. So there you go. And then how about this one? I'm smart sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, I picked up this Captain Marvel pop. You guys know I'm not a pop guy, but this thing was like $289, $499, something like that on clearance at Target. I don't care about the pop inside, but I like the hard protector here. And I have one pop in my collection. I don't have very many pops. I have a couple of Iron Maiden and Motorhead related ones. And that's pretty much it. Except I have that original Ultimate Warrior pop. And I said, you know what? I should get a hard case for it. Well, here you go. $5, get this case. I don't know. I'll give this uh, Captain Marvel to one of my daughters. See what they want to do with it. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a good deal. Working smart. Working smart right there. Uh, back to Transformers. Uh, as we said, you know, uh, big sale at Target this week. Spend $100, get 25 off. 
that's when you take advantage of some of these things. If you're wanting the Eternals out there, go pick them up. It's like you got one for free. Work harder or work smarter, not harder is what I always say. Got to get a deal. And that's what I did. I picked up a lot of long game stuff I was waiting to get. Bought it all together. This one was part of that, of course. But I got Wheeljack, of course. You got to have him from the Kingdom line of Transformers. So there's old Wheeljack. And then I got Gnaw, of course, Gnaw. Had to have a second Gnaw. Gnawing all over the place. But you got to have somebody for those Dinobots to face off with on your shelf. And then I ended up picking up old Rekgar as well. Picked him up at Target. Got to get a deal. Use that uh, $25 from them. That's the way you got to do it. So I got those few things. And then I ended up picking this one up. We've seen around forever. Old Spawn, old Mandarin Spawn, but I saw it was $5.99 on clearance. I said, $5.99? I can't pass that up for $5.99. I'm a sucker for a Spawn figure. That's about the right price for this one. I'd seen it for $11.99 before and passed. I think Amazon even went down to $9.99 for a little bit, but for $5.99... It's worth an adventure. It's worth an unboxing video. If it's hot garbage, you know what? Throw it away. $5.99. Or you donate it to uh, Lemmy, my dog. He would love to have this, I'm sure. But I got him as part of that. So it was even cheaper with that $100 deal uh, getting that going on there. So that was pretty cool. And then you saw this in the figure hunting video. I think I was in St. Joe, Missouri. Uh, looking at the clearance stuff, there was this Ric Flair Ultimate Edition on clearance. Once again, $9.89. And I know somebody special that wants this as a special uh, birthday present one day. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll give this as a birthday present to that person. Uh, because you know, why not? Everybody loves a Ric Flair figure. Especially a Ric Flair Ultimate. One of the best figures of all time as far as Ultimates are concerned. In my book, uh, is that Ric Flair. And for $9.89, you got to get a deal. You got to pick that up out there. One last thing this week. We've got a mountain of stuff. I keep saying, guys, I don't even know where to start on the unboxings. We got the Thundercats wave from last week. We got the What If wave. We got the Eternals wave. We got some Infinity Saga figures to unbox. I got to think we're going to do AEW Unrivaled Series 7. You know I love wrestling figures. I love opening those up. Wrestling figures, G.I. Joe figures always go to the top of the house. No G.I. Joe right now, uh, but I'll probably undo, I'll do the uh, AEW figures. I'm anxious to un see what that Bebop Rock study is all about, so I'll get after that one right away. But where do we go from there? Do you want to see the Thundercats? Should we have kind of a miscellaneous week with He-Man, Thundercats, stuff like that? Would you want me to jump into What If? Uh, do we, anything here catch your eye? What do you guys say? You guys lead the direction here of the channel. We'll do AEW uh, Unrivaled Series 7, but where do we go from there? Do we want to do JYD yet? Should I get after that one? Uh, you guys tell me. And then we'll also have all the exciting videos on the channel. The Jack's Class Superstars Deep Dive this week. We're going to dig deep into the Billy Graham videos this week. We'll do all Billy Graham figures. Uh, very interesting stuff there. We got a special Halloween themed top five coming at you for Thursday. We're going to round out this month with some more horror type stuff uh, to finish off these top five lists for the month. Figured this was the time to do it. We did the um, Ultimate Warrior last week, top 10. We'll do a couple of top fives. And then in early November, in honor of my dad's birthday, we're going to do the Warlord top five. And my dad joined me for that video, so you'll want to stay tuned for that one. So we got some good, exciting videos coming to the channel. Like I said, we're going to do that QA. Hopefully, sometime next week, I'll have a QA. Also dabbling, we might do, there's been a lot of requests to do some live streams. I'm thinking about maybe a, possibly a monthly live stream or maybe every other week live stream. Maybe Friday, Saturday nights, we'll do an hour, maybe two hours, something like that. Maybe they'll be themed, maybe they'll just be free throw, flowing where we just hang out and talk. We'll see, but there's a lot of stuff coming to the channel. Be excited for it. Make sure you subscribe, most importantly, there you go. But then the last thing, Christmas came early. This was supposed to come around Christmas time frame. All of a sudden it got moved way up to, I think it was the end of October. And then it got moved up to, was it last Saturday? And then it got moved up to Friday night. So this one really came out of nowhere. But it is the Amazon exclusive Wolverine pack, five pack right here. As I stick it through there. How cool is this? Now, this one really hits me in the old nostalgia feels. As you guys know, Wolverine's my favorite superhero of all time. I especially love the original Wolverine run of the comics. Wolverine number one through about 100 is where I was reading Wolverine. These are a lot of the main characters of that era. Cyber, a big part of my Wolverine villain love back in the day. Uh, Omega Red, of course. Some reuse, some re-release, some interesting characters here. There's a lot going on in this Amazon exclusive. Happy to have this one. Uh, maybe you guys got yours as well. So we'll unbox this on the channel, like all this stuff, uh, one of these days fairly soon. So uh, a lot going on in weekly purchases. I mean, this if you take the last three weeks, 
Uh, I think this costs more than my uh, house payment, I'm pretty sure, uh, this last three weeks of pickup. So I'm hoping things slow down just a little bit. Uh, I've spent enough money on toys, I think, uh, the last few weeks. It would be nice if I had just a couple of slow weeks in there. And let's just kick off February with a bang after Christmas and stuff. I don't know. Uh, there's a few things still to come. I'm sure we might get another Elite Wave before the year's out. Uh, you've got to think Unmatched Series 2. Uh, there's got to be a, maybe another Marvel Legends wave in this year, I would have to think, and a few exclusives, stuff like that. But there's just a lot going on. There's a lot going on all the time, uh, but just a lot going on right now, including on this very YouTube channel. And once again, i got to thank all you guys uh, for like, comment, subscribe, following me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. Uh, you guys are the best out there. I love reading all your comments. So let me know in the comments down below, what did you pick up this week? Any thoughts on any of these pickups? Let me know what I should unbox. You guys steer the ship a little bit here. Tell me what you think out there. And make sure to try for the giveaways out here. You just got to like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube. Make sure you're following me on YouTube and just leave uh, the old comment down below. Uh, the Twitter rules as well. Always helps to follow and retweet and then uh, leave some names of some people. You guys heard the rules, so go back and check it out. But three giveaways this week. More giveaways to come. More excitement to come on the channel. But, you know, I would stay and do a little bit more of this, but I got to go. You guys know I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling my way into the weekend. I got dinner with my dad tonight, so I got to roll on out. So there it is, the 10,000 subscriber weekly purchases video. Uh, thank you, everybody, and we'll see you guys all next week.